Hi everybody, welcome to an episode of What's New in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. So, I'm trying to find a way to make this comfortable to color and for you to see what I'm coloring. I am not doing Budget Friendly Tuesday today. I am going to color my buddy color. There is a few of us doing this. What did I do with my notebook? So who is all doing this? This is in my Facebook group. And it's Nikki, Katrina, Color Insania. And it seems like somebody else asked today as well if they could join in. And I said, well, sure, absolutely. The more the merrier. So we are all coloring the butterfly. Can you see that? butterfly and I was looking at I'm I'm uh, I like to look at pictures and videos to get ideas for colors so I seen a YouTube video by Mia Fox and so mine probably won't come out like hers but I am I gotta find the colors. I did like the colors that she used. So, my little eyes now have to try to find that color <laughs> that I'm looking for. So, does anybody have? Anything interesting going on? They do tell the color numbers on here, right? Do you have enough light? Do I need to have more light? Let's see what I can do. There's light. I probably should start bringing in my... Uh, my at light, my floor one. And then it could be facing down right onto the page. You see that? I don't like. Oh, I cannot see the numbers or the colors on these polychromo pencils. So, I am using Two sixty eight, which says green gold, and that's what I'm going to use on the outline. I really liked the colors that Mia Fox used. So, 
I'm like, yeah, I like them. And so I watched some of it for the two main colors. She had already done half of the butterfly and then she was shown color in the other half and I only watched it up to a certain point. But I always gravitate to blues and purples when I do butterflies and I seen hers and so yeah Has anybody else colored this picture? And if you did, what colors did you use? Inquiring minds want to know. So, I have to tell you what's been going on. I don't get a lot of coloring time in because stupid me joined, or not joined, but started playing a Facebook game called Super City. And in order to get new buildings and all kinds of stuff you have to have quests and you have to build things and grow things to complete the quests and some of them are timed which means you only have a certain amount of time to get everything well that's why you need neighbors. So when you go into Super City on Facebook in their group page, you tell people, I need neighbors. And you add neighbors. And you also have to visit their cities every day. And so I was coming home from Dylan's, checking things on Facebook, and going in and visiting all my neighbors. I had like 200. It was taking me two hours every night to do it. And today it just, I said I can't do this anymore. I'm not getting coloring done. The only thing that I was doing while visiting was watching General Hospital. So I could watch two episodes of that. Plus I was checking my city every one to two hours. So I would play with the boys and then go check it play with the boys and go check it and I got behind on watching some of my friends YouTube channels because I was playing this game all the time so today I decided no more I can't do this anymore So I unfriended everybody I posted in the group page thank you
to all that had helped me. Oops, I gotta put paper under this. But at this time, I can no longer play the game. Especially when you have timed quests of like 24 hours that you have to have that quest done of growing things, building things, and some things take four to six hours. So you're constantly in your game checking it. And if you have a life outside your home, you're not always meeting the timed quests. So I said no more. No more. And as I was also going through my Facebook friends, I realized that I am friends with a lot of people on there. I really don't remember why I was friends with them. Did they used to cross stitch and they no longer cross stitch? I have been on Facebook for many years so I no longer could remember. So unfortunately I let some of them go too. I had to. I had to for my sanity. Which is why I don't like accepting friend requests. In Facebook for people that watch my videos if you want to talk to me you can send me a private message without being friends on Facebook because I do I I chat with a few people while I'm coloring or watching TV and um, they're not on my friends list You still can see that? Should I zoom in a little more? So, yep, that's what I did when I got home from work. And it did take me an hour and a half. No, yeah, about an hour and a half to unfriend the people that play the Super City. And then to go through my regular friends list and unfriend a lot of people that I um, really don't know them or why I knew them. I've got all my classmates still on my list or on my friends list. I still have, you know, close friends and my family but I let a lot of friends go I had to I just I spend too much time I had to do something with social media I hardly ever use Instagram I forget to post pictures on Instagram and I forget about Twitter and I'm I think some of them are going too. It's my coloring people can stay on Instagram and Twitter. But um, I unsubscribed from a ton of YouTubers.
I had to it was overtaking my life and I said that's enough Plus I have all the Sims, I have Sims 2, 3, and 4 on my computer. Plus I have Sim City on my computer. Why did I need to play Facebook Super City? I don't need friends to play Sim City and Sims 2, 3, and 4. And I don't play them daily. I haven't played them in a while. So I'm always on this stupid super city. And I do try. Every weekend to do something different. So like. Um. Cheers. I need a new chair. So I'm looking. So like, um, my weekend goals is the first weekend of the month. I would like to cross stitch so it would start at like 6 p.m. Friday night till I go to bed Sunday night. So anytime in there, if I'm home and in between cleaning, doing laundry, that's what I want to do. And then the second weekend, I am in a reading group on Facebook and um we read all weekend. There's no challenges. Nothing. There's no reading sprints. You just post what you are going to be reading. And just, you just challenge yourself. There's nothing else. So. I've done it the past couple of months. Because I found out about it a couple of months ago. And I have really enjoyed it. Yeah, I haven't even been reading. Because I've been on Super City. And then... When the boys are sleeping and when Blake takes a nap, I'm catching up on YouTube videos, which I am now caught up to Anne's. So when she puts a new one up, I can watch it right away. And I've been caught up on Jen's. And then today I sat and watched a bunch of Jessica's so um that's what I've been doing and then tomorrow I will start watching Laura's from Anxiety Art Adventures and a lot of hers that were live I was there so I won't have to watch them all, but I'll watch quite a few. 
plus she's really not making anymore so it won't take me long and I can watch all these videos when I'm coloring now so I do want to start watching videos and coloring where before I was listening to the videos and playing Super City while listening and I would miss things and have to rewind and I said no this is crazy crazy Really, rascal, you had to push. If the camera starts shaking, it's because rascal's leaning against the tripod leg. You know, I should have known better than to start playing Super City because I used to play Farmville and Farmtown and the same thing happened with that. I don't know why I thought this time would be any different. I know there was, there's like two other games that I used to play on Facebook too, but I don't remember the names of them. One was like a fairy garden or something. I did, let's see, 2009. I started playing games when I was laid up when I had my hysterectomy. And I had... I was out of work for six weeks, so I started playing some of the Facebook games. And then I left them because they were taking up too much time. <laughs> and what did I do? Start it all over again. Like, really? I'd rather be chatting with you guys than coloring. So I did, as you know, today was the release date of Seasons by Hannah Carlson. But it did not get released today because I guess of a typhoon because it was coming. Is was it Indonesia? I don't remember. And so I will be getting it in a couple weeks, anyways. And then another coloring book. That I can't pronounce the name of it. I just ordered today. And I also want Nick Filbert's new book. So I had let him know. And then that's it for a while because, yeah.
I ordered those two because they are the um, better quality coloring books. And Nick is the one that drew the Fantasia coloring book, but he changed his name to Nick Filbert. It was Nicholas F. I can't think of the last name. So, yeah, I'll be getting that. I'm just waiting to hear back from him. I really don't have any stories about the boys today. The mosquitoes seem to like Blake. His whole body is all bitten up. They said we had chances of storms for like three hours since three o'clock. Well, it's now after six and we didn't get them. Head to sharpen. Oh yeah, I was telling you about weekend goals. So I said the second weekend of every month I read. And then the third weekend of every month I want to play my PC games, which are my Sims games. And then the last weekend of the month is coloring all weekend. We don't really do too much because Scott works so much that he's always tired. I'm not sure else to do that. So let's go in here. How we doing? 29 minutes. Okay. So the polychromos is what I'm using, the Faber-Castell Polychromos.
I have been seeing people posting different kinds of tote bags for their coloring supplies and I liked how Jen talked about what she used to carry everything for the day like there's room for her cell phone and her planner and coloring book and supplies and I said oh I have that I have one of his pockets in the front but it's short and I wanted to put the coloring books in there that I'm working on till they're done or the pictures I'm working on till I'm done so like I was doing that bless this mess yesterday with the um, marker Monday so I want to be able to put that book in there till it's done and then last week for budget friendly I was working on Alice was I working on Alice some Snow White. Alice in Wonderland or Snow White? I can't remember. So I want to put that in there. And then if I have another book that I'm working out of for Watercolor Wednesday, then I want to keep that book in there until that's done. And now I got buddy colors, buddy color lawns. So my bag's not quite as big as I need. So I might have to start using the one that I've always used for cross stitching or go and buy a new one. And I have seen a couple of posts somewhere in one group I'm in that they use. A, a nice diaper bag I'm like what a concept they have some really pretty diaper bags you know and some of them have the spot for your to keep your water or whatever you're drinking cold and you've got the pockets for your color and supplies You know, so if I want to put in my sharpener and my eraser, and I like using the brush, then they can go in there. My daily planner can go in there. A monthly plan. My year. It's a yearly planner. I was gonna start doing bullet journaling, but then I found a way to do it into my yearly planner that seems to be working. I set it up for August and I'll just tweak it a little bit what didn't work, what does work that's the OCD in me and I could show you that sometime I don't like um, spending a lot of money on the planners, although the one I do buy, I think this is like my third or fourth one I've had, and I pay, I think, between 35 and 50 for it. But I keep them because the, I, I put all kinds of stuff in there. It has a list of all the books I read for that year. Um, if I finished any cross stitch pieces. I have a page of celebrity deaths for the year.
Okay, I think I hear thunder. I am tone deaf to thunder, so I do not hear it unless it's right here. So usually someone has to tell me that it's on the way so I can shut down my computer. So now that I'm not playing the game, I will have more time to watch my TV shows, more time to color. Like I said, I have weekend set aside for my sims games and they're not timed quests I don't have to have neighbors to play it So this morning I put up a video for Marker Monday and I don't think I got any comments on it. If I did, they did not come into my um, email. So I have to go look. And if you noticed, at the ends of each little design here, that's where I color the deepest, like in here, and then I fade. And then it's darker here, and then I fade. So it goes lighter into the center. And how are we doing on time? 40 minutes. So I think you got the idea of how I'm doing this. So I am going to finish this and I don't know if I'll keep
keep color in this in a video. I'm not sure yet. I want to be able to keep color in this. So if I don't finish this tonight, I'm not sure if I will be coloring tomorrow night or if I'm staying for dinner at Dylan's because Amber has class Wednesday night. I know you won't be seeing this till Wednesday morning. I have a feeling I need to watch last week's and last night's Shadow Hunters and then tonight what's on I did not know about the show um, much about America's Got Talent and um, I've seen YouTube videos on it and so Justin and I are like, we really want to watch that. We used to watch Dance with the Stars, and I got sick of that because they keep picking people that really are not stars. And I just don't like that show anymore. But I think I will like... America's Got Talent. So, I am going to say goodbye for today. If you have any questions or if you want to see how I do my journal, I can do that. Just ask. And I will I'll talk to you later and until the next episode of what's new in Shaleen's neck of the woods I will see you all later bye